at Trap Productions. We teach you how to do stuff. Today I'm going to show you how to multi-track a project into Logic Pro. I'm going to start with the drums. We're going to do eight input drums with overheads and miking the toms and all that good stuff. But first what I need is a scratch guitar track that will help me uh, play the drums with a little more emotion and it will help get off to a good start. So we're going to do multi-track drums, then we're going to put bass guitar down, then we're going to put electric guitar down, then we're going to put vocals down, we're going to kind of mix everything as we go. Scratch guitar part, I'm using my uh, my Les Paul Studio, and I'm using a program called Amplitube that I've added into Logic Pro, but um, in order for me to play this guitar part and not have a just playing with a click, I decided to go ahead and get a software drummer that's available through Logic Pro. This chap's name is Levi, our songwriter drummer in the songwriter package. I just said it, he's kind of swingy here because uh, the song that I'm going to do starts off real swingy. It's actually a medley between a Black Sabbath song and a Tenacious D song. So um, I need some swing in there and so that's what this drummer placekeeper is going to be for. As soon as my guitar track's done, I'm going to get rid of this guy. I have to get this record enabled and I also would like to have some monitoring. So I turned this on. This makes it monitor. I'm playing through an 1818 VSL uh, PreSonus audio box. That's my interface. And so that's where I have my headphones attached to right now. All right. Okay, so I think we're just about ready here. Go ahead and start off. that record enable and now I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, get the drums ready. So got my drummer now what I'm gonna do is I am going to start adding some inputs. So I'm gonna add an audio input input one create I'm gonna call this snare another one I'm gonna use input two for that one I'm going to call that, oh, I'm sorry, first one is kick, second one is snare. Save, keep on going down. What's the next one? Uh, overhead center, uh, input three, boom, last one, input eight, and we're going to create, boom, overhead left, we are left, boom. Now, we need to record enable all of them. I don't, it's loud in this room, so I don't need any monitoring at all. So we're just about ready to go. Each one of these, I'd like clean, fresh slate, get out, of, get out of my life with all your stupid plugins. I don't want any plugins on these guys. I'm going all the way to here. No plug in there. No plug in there. I don't want compression. I don't want anything. I want to record it the way it is and then I'll treat it later. Okay? So actually all of these I'm not going to worry about. Okay, so there's my pack. Alright, so I'm getting my drums ready right now. Um, so I have Two overheads left and right. I have each each tom snare mic'd. I got a kick mic and I also have another overhead. Um, used to use it for a hi-hat but instead I like the stereo image of hard panning these and then having this one in the middle. So that one's behind me. Here's the snake that comes up from this side of the drums and I'm gonna plug that one in. This just goes down. I've labeled each one of these so I know where it goes piece of tape is labeled which which input I use and also where I like the levels because I change this level I use this for guitar I'll plug this in and, and I just use this channel for my scratch track so sometimes that's gonna be a different volume than where I want the kick drum which is gonna get uh, placed in here as an XLR now it just so happens that it likes to be at noon so that's where I'm gonna leave it 
haven't touched any of the other ones, so they're all about roughly where they're supposed to be. So this is an 1818 VSL. This is what I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and plug in the second half of those, and then we'll get ready to multi-track my drums. Rack one. All right, so I'm ready. Uh, when I'm counting in, I'm going to go ahead and try, uh, we'll do a two bar count in. Okay, so I have time to get over to my read, put on my, put on my headphones and all that stuff. Make sure I can hear it, so I'm turning up the headphone feed a little bit. And here to here, I'm going to go ahead and record. I like so I'm gonna keep it so go ahead and listen to it a bunch make sure that that's the take you want if that's the take you want then um, look at my next video which is how to shape the drum sound